Well, good morning, everybody. What a glorious day it is. How's things? Very all well, right? we, We're all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're all right. It's all day. Nice to catch up with you, have a little chat. How's things? How, how's everybody? Well, I think all the players are fit and healthy. Um, one lad, one of his family members has got some symptoms, but he's all right. Um, you know, I have said he's, if he has got it, he's asymptomatic, but apart from that, you know, and I, I include him when I say he's healthy. Um, obviously, we're all in self-isolation. He won't be doing the runs outside of his back garden. Um, but So we've uh, amended his schedule to, to reflect that. Um, apart from that, everyone else will do their one um, form of exercise a day outside the house and the, the other football stuff in the back garden or whilst they're out and about. So, uh, so yeah, we've, uh, that's about it, really. Well, you got an extra weekend last week with your players all, all doing the training. What sort of benefit do you think you'll gain from that when we get going again? Uh, I think I think the the answer to that will only be when we know how long it'll be before we come back. Um, if we're out for six months, there'll be very little benefit. If it's three weeks, then uh, I think there'll be some benefit in it. So, you know, until we know when we're coming back, we, we, you know, it's, it's a bit of a hard question to answer, to be honest. Obviously, the, the world of social media now is enabling you to stay in contact with your players, your staff, and everybody close to the football club. How important is that? that he's keeping that bond together. But it's vile. I've been watching uh, something called The Test on Amazon Prime about Australia's cricket team um, over the, the last few mornings, as soon as I don't have to be out, out of the house quite early. And Justin Langer, the, the Australian cricket coach, was on about the, the team spirit is the glue, and it is. Um, and, and it's important that you keep that as, as intact as you can do. Um you know the, the the app that the the using they can see each other's faces as well as interacting via let's call it normal social media means Instagram and Snapchat and everything else. But when you do stuff, whether it by FaceTime or whether it by um, house party or Zoom or Microsoft Teams, whatever it might be, <coughs> that it's it's important that there's some. Um, you know, face to face contact, and if you can do it in a group of you, then then, then that's even better. Um, we'll be setting the, the lads a task this afternoon to come back to us by early on next week, where they're going to have to work in groups of three. So whether they have or they haven't, they're going to have to do it over the over the next few days because we're going to insist on it. So it is important that they get um, contact with with each other. They are social animals, humans are social animals um, and the creatures are habit and I don't think any of them will have uh, worked on their own to this extent before um, unless they've probably fallen out with a manager or something like that but even then it, it wouldn't have been like this so uh, it's uh, it's a new one for everyone and it's important that they keep conversing as normally as they can even if it does mean from behind a screen or a phone You've got great trust in your players. You said what a great group of lads you've got. Do you think what, what's happening to the country at the moment that will bring them even closer together when they get back, you know, joining in? I think, uh, I, I'm not sure if it'll bring them closer. It might, it might do. I don't know. I think that the, the trust element is is you, you trust them to do the work. I think that's the key thing. Um, I, I, th I think it's vital that when you're in a period of sort of self-directed learning, it's a bit like what it is in close season for them, and, and you know, so it's not it's not alien, you know, totally alien to be um, working on their own. But it is certainly in season, obviously, because um, it's not as if you're um, injured and you're being prescribed what to do. So we're still prescribing what to do, and have to think totally on their own. But they certainly have to be self-motivated and, and self-disciplined, um, and I trust them to do that. You know, they're, they're, they're a terrific group, um, and, and you know the, the, the league table reflects that. 
Um, but they've just got to show one more quality in the next two or three weeks um, before we get back at it. Um, and, and I do think it helps that we've got good people. I do. I, I think that's a... You know, I'd much rather have people who I think, yeah, he's a, he's a good person. You know, again, Justin Langer was talking about it. Yeah, he said, I want good people because they'd just come out of the ball tampering thing in South Africa. And he was on about saying, um, you know, you've got to be a good person to get in my team. Then eventually you've got to be a good cricketer. You know, it's Australia's cricket team, you've got to be a good cricketer. But I don't want bad people. And and, and I think we've, we're in that position we've got good people we haven't got one idiot and we've got they've got to be good footballers and, and this is going to be another test for them there's no doubt about it you know you, you, your footballers love playing football they love training they love doing everything while you've got this sort of uh, enforced break they can probably you've probably set them different things to do and one thing i know you don't want to reveal too many things that what they're doing but one thing they are doing is probably doing a little bit of scouting reporting, if you know what I mean, putting together on recognition. That, that's a, a great little thing for them, isn't it? That, to have a look at who you've got coming up. Yeah, well, that's that's going to be the task this afternoon in groups of three. They're all going to get a, um, a team. You know, there's 27 of them. Nine games, groups of three. All the games will go in the server that they access remotely, our own server. Um, we'll give them some sort of template and format and they've got to come up with um, strengths and weaknesses of the opposition you know we, we when we get back to it um, we might be playing Saturday Tuesday Thursday Saturday and that's very hard to do um, you know sort of analysis in between games it's virtually impossible but you know we're all doing that as a, as a group of staff but I think to keep the players engaged to keep them focused to, to, to make them understand what we've got coming up uh, it's important that they understand that and why not get them watching some games of football because um, we're all missing it you know every single player is missing it all the staff are missing it I think the whole country is missing it to be quite honest but um, you know it's important that they, they keep engaged and keep keep their brain ticking over in a football sense and, and making them watch football and not just watching it, but studying it. It's important that they study games because if they study games, even if it's on a, a computer or a TV or a phone or whatever it might be, you'd hope that that's transferable to actually when they're playing and they can recognise things because they go, oh, I yeah, I've seen that before. I've seen what they're trying to do there, whether it's on a, like I say, a computer screen or what. Um, so it's not it's not alien to them, and then they have to speak with their mates and and report back to us in in you know without it being like school work or anything like that because some of them you've mentioned school it puts the fear they got into them but you know and they can present it however they want but they'll have to get on house party with me and John Dillon and and, and maybe Kenny or Alex and, and, and tell us and show us exactly what they've come up with as a, as a little group I mean that be careful you send to John Dillon won't you whatever you do <laughs> don't send the wrong <laughs> John Dillon, will you please? Uh, will they get merit badges? Are they are they offer merit badges? <laughs> um, blue Peter badges. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the more serious. Side. Have you had any more latest directors from the EFL? Anything updates from them? I think uh, th there was a board meeting on Wednesday. Um, from what I understand, is that the the thirtieth will get put back, but only ever so slightly, um, and it's still. You know, we will complete the season. I know there's a couple of people saying, "Oh, there's you know the um, the season's going to be null and void." It, it's just not going to be. You know, I think people who are saying that have probably got an agenda saying that, putting it in the press. It's not going to be. There'll be too many legal complications. There's too many financial complications. And if the season goes into September, I'm pretty certain it'll be going into September. Uh, I don't think it will. I think. You know, if you'd have said to us, we'll all be in this situation two or three weeks ago, um, I don't think any would have believed, believed it. Might have thought, it hey, might get to that, but nobody would have probably put their, you know, put a large sum of money on it. And I think in two or three weeks' time, I think we're probably going to be out the other side. Um, certainly if this lockdown, you know, continues, Italy's cases are now falling and we're two weeks behind them. And you go, well, if that's the case, you know, two or three weeks time we're going to be falling 
Um, does that mean we're getting back to play football? Well, I don't know, but you've got to remember we're, we're, we're a month away from the 30th of October now. If that gets put back by two weeks, then you know there's still six weeks till the you know the, I'm say the cut-off point. I, I think that can be flexible as well. I think FIFA and UEFA come out yesterday and said that they're looking at ways of extending players' contracts and making it fair for everyone. And and th- there's no um, there's no doubt in my mind that there's a, a a consensus that the season will finish. You can't, you know, and, and a season that's actually not started does not take any precedent over a season that's eighty percent, or you know, seventy five, eighty percent of the way through. Um, and and that that'll that'll be the case going forward. I'm I'm sure of that. Just one final one from me before you get some searching questions from Mr. Peter Morse, who's waiting patiently to fire a few questions at you. I, I, everything is geared to finishing the season, of course, but does next season's planning go on hold? Or You know what football managers and football clubs are like? They've got to keep going, haven't they? 365 days a year. Is that a problem for you? Uh, no, the, 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 the planning's well underway. Um you know, there's, there's contract negotiations going on as we speak. There's, there'll be news that would have probably been released this week if it wasn't for the lack of, um, you know, the the, the, the the ground being shut, if you like, the office staff, um, you know, at home. Um, and that'll, that'll continue for the next few weeks. You know, we're in a, um, a, a good position in... in you know, in terms of corporate structure and and the, the board of directors, who I'm sure it's a bit of a baptism as a fire for him because um, I don't think anybody could envisage this would be within two or three months of their uh, directorship. But we're in a, a fairly stable position financially, and it's it's business as usual, as much as it can be, and that includes recruitment, that includes um, contracts. Um, you know, yes, we've got to um, be fully aware of what division we're in, um, and as soon as that's resolved, the better from a planning perspective. Um, but that doesn't stop us doing our work. Okay, Dave, uh, I'll go get the kettle on now. But I'm going to believe you don't have kettles in your house. I haven't got a kettle in my house now. I haven't. <laughs> do, do, do you want me to that? Do, 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 do you want me to, you know? It's one of them, po- them posh taps, is it? Oh, yeah. It, that's right, yeah. I've got a, <laughs> a cooker tap, is what it's called, yeah. <laughs> well, who's, 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 who's told you that? We can't divulge our sources. <laughs> okay, all right. Is Yorkshire nope. tea just as good with it? Yes, I do have Yorkshire tea, yeah. <laughs> and, it's just, and it's just as good, and it's strong... And, and warm, which I think is uh, I, I like. I like people who are strong and warm. That's, <laughs> that's you know. I like people who are likely to. You know, there's only there's only there's only one thing that I like: strong and hot, and that's my wife. Everyone else can be strong and warm. <laughs> 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 